I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis and I've been painting en plein air a lot, also finishing up some of the pieces from my winter painting from in the studio. This is some of my work and now it's time to varnish them. There is a new varnish out, it's a spray varnish. It's Camar Krylon varnish and you can put it on oil, acrylic or watercolor. So what I will be doing hopefully is showing you how to use this. What you do is you go back and forth horizontally and then vertically and after that's done you should have had the canvas covered. Now the two pieces here on the right were done on sheets of canvas so I'm going to give them a light spray. Once they are stretched on a canvas stretcher then I will give them another spray but this is what I'll be doing. Let's start with the little guys so you can see. Best to do this when it's not too windy out. And then you let it dry and your paintings are sealed. This painting in the top left corner is a painting I did from a photo that Taylor Hicks took. He's a representative of the New York Times and he took this picture from the Fort McMurray wildfire that 81,000 people had to be evacuated. And this is my rendition or from his photo. You can see how these pictures really come alive once you put the varnish on. And the one thing you need to do with the spray varnish is at the end of the use, you have to turn it upside down to release any extra varnish that's in the tubes. So I tend to do that on my profile canvas or my gallery canvas, the tall, the wide sides here. I tend to turn it upside down and spray that. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and uh, share my videos. Hope you like what you see. Bye-bye.